why not try cutting out just like all of like as much sugar from my diet as possible Welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel. In a previous video, I actually shared how I've been having some medical issues and I'm gonna refrain from giving like all the symptoms away because they're kind of embarrassing until we kind of get a grasp of what actually I have or what I'm dealing with. Um, I really don't know. And I'm gonna go see a doctor in 10 days. One of the symptoms I will share, I have like flaky skin in my eyebrow. It is annoying. It, it, it's just, I'm annoyed by these symptoms. They've gotten old. I've been dealing with these for at least a year now, over a year, and I'm just ready for it to be over and done with. So I'm seeing a doctor in 10 days and I figured, why not try cutting out just like all of, like as much sugar from my diet as possible. I love sugar, I love sweet stuff. And um, if that helps in 10 days, well then I'll be able to tell the doctor that without going to the doctor and then having the doctor send me back home to try these things, might as well give this a go. So I'm gonna be bringing you along and sharing just what I'm eating for the next 10 days until my doctor's appointment. And I'll probably give you guys some updates like midway on how I'm feeling, what I'm struggling with. But for breakfast today, I'm having two eggs and about an ounce of like Fiesta blend cheese. And maybe I'll have some carrots for a snack in a little bit. Okay, so it is kind of like dinner time-ish. It's kind of early, but I'm hungry and I'll probably have like another snack later, but I'm just having some like homemade chicken parm that I made the other night. Yes, I know it has breading, but you know, it's mostly chicken. It's like 10 ounces of chicken and some panko bread breadcrumbs, some melted butter in the breadcrumbs a little bit of Prego sauce and some mozzarella cheese. I think it'll be pretty filling though. <laughs> okay, so for dinner I have about like 158 grams of rice. I put in a tablespoon of Smart Balance and then there was just like some extra carrots. We're just kind of having leftovers, but I think I'm gonna throw in an ounce of cheese cause I like that combo and I want it to be extra tasty cause I'm hungry. And then I'm gonna have some of this. In my opinion, I don't like diet sodas, but Diet Sun Kissed Orange is like by far, I think my favorite diet soda. Tastes like the real thing. And it doesn't give me those diet soda feels. So I'm gonna drink this without any guilt. Okay, so for a late night snack for dessert, I'm having a banana and two tablespoons of peanut butter cause I'm still hungry. And this is the sweetest I could go without having actually anything that was like processed with added sugar and stuff. So this is what I'm finishing up day one. So as I'm sitting down to enjoy my dessert, um, I did want to point out and mention my starting weight for this 10 day period. I'm 205.7. Unfortunately, I was, you know, under 200 if you guys have been following me. At one point I was super excited and then we moved and it, I just went up a little bit. So uh, maybe in the next 10 days following this kind of routine, I'll lose some weight too and there'll be some motivation to maybe continue this, I don't know. But I did wanna point that out. I will give you guys probably just little updates as we go throughout this video, just briefly how much I weighed in the morning and like what I'm eating and then I'll check in and do some more talking on day five. But um, that's it for tonight. I've, you know, I might refill a little bit of this if I uh, am still craving some flavor, but I made it through today. I'm, I'm craving my sweet coffees. I think that's like my biggest thing, but there's still like room for calories in my calorie counter based on how much I exercised today and how much I ate. So that's at least good to know if I find healthy snacks that I find satisfying, you know, to kind of make up for that unhealthy treat. So I guess we'll see how much I weigh over the course of the next 10 days. And thank you guys for joining me on this little journey and supporting me along the way. I appreciate it. So I'll check in tomorrow. Okay, so the dinner of day two are two chicken soft tacos, like a little chicken quesadilla. Sorry for my daughter. 
uh, French fries, and then a Diet Coke with sugar-free vanilla. I'm gonna add it in. I know this isn't the most healthy, but it's, there's not a lot of added sugar, so I'm cutting out what I would normally have. it is the end of day five I started on a Wednesday it's the end of Sunday night and I know my dinner seemed a little big three pieces of pizza and two breadsticks but I really didn't have anything besides that like banana and crackers and my little like jelly things like earlier in the afternoon probably around like noon so I didn't eat like breakfast and then my lunch was that and then I was just pretty hungry and I figured I can handle the carbs. There's not a lot of sugar, so uh, like I, my focus is the sugar right now. So anyways, I just wanted to, I guess, justify that. This week has been bearable, but challenging. Last night we went to my sister's house and she made cinnamon rolls and I had to just pass on that. My parents got donuts this morning and I had to pass on that too. So some of my, you know, favorite things in life I had to say no to the last two days. And honestly, I haven't seen much change in any of the symptoms I'm experiencing. So in some ways, I'm happy that it's not like I have to give up sugar the rest of my life. But I'm so kind of frustrated that it's like, okay, well, that's obviously doesn't appear to be the cause. And I know I said I was going to do this until my doctor's appointment. But Two days before my doctor's appointment is my anniversary with Juan. I have a coupon for Dunkin' Donuts that I want to use and it expires on our anniversary. And I don't want to be miserable. That's supposed to be a special day and I don't want to not be able to enjoy that day. A lot of times Juan and I love to go get coffee together and that's one of the things that we enjoy. So I think I'm going to end this on the 15th, which means I have two more days of doing this. So it's a full week of no sugars or no added sugars. So, you know, it, it's worth a shot. My weight originally went down and it's just been staying consistent. Uh, actually, I went up today and that didn't really make sense to me because of how I've been eating and I've been under my calorie count and it's probably just a lot of sodium. But yeah, that's my little update. It is late. I've been working on some other videos for you guys. And so just to get me through like finishing up what I need to do tonight, I am having one more of my little jelly things, I guess. I think this one's cherry. Part of me wonders if I can make this with less gelatin. If you guys have tried Sprouts brand like gummy bears, those are the best. They're soft, they're tasty. This is much more firm than those guys, but it's still really tasty for being sugar-free and 15 calories. It's, it definitely hits like the sweet spot. 
but one thing I have been missing is like chocolate and that's kind of hard to you know find a good chocolate that's not really sugar-free so anyways that's kind of my update so all that being said I will show you guys what I'm eating the next two days and then hopefully my doctor and I will be able to figure out what's wrong with me and yeah go from there so I'll check back in tomorrow Okay guys, this is my last little update. I still have dinner and probably some dessert to eat later today, but this is the end of my week of giving up sugar or the at least additional sugar. Like obviously if there was a little bit in a recipe of like white bread or um, salad dressing or something like that, like I didn't completely cut it out and have zero grams of sugar each day. But I really cut out a lot of the extra stuff and I can't say that any of my symptoms have gotten better. Sometimes it felt like they were worse, so I really don't know. I know that a week is not a really long time to give up sugar to see the effects on my body, but my weight really didn't go down that much. Uh, kind of stayed the same, went up a little bit and then went back down, so it's not like there was a big change there. And for reference, my body fluctuates a lot, so I could lose like two pounds in a day and then gain a pound and then lose another two. So the fact that I kind of just stayed the same seemed a little odd for me. It could be my body just adjusting. If there's one takeaway from this week that I'll try to keep going forward is I really enjoyed those salads that I was having with the peppers and the chicken and that one salad dressing that like my mom introduced me to. So. I think I'm gonna try to kind of keep that up, you know, try to have maybe extra healthy meals if, on days that I'm gonna have my coffees or have maybe like a donut for breakfast or something like that. So I at least have a good takeaway and, you know, have this knowledge to bring to my doctor's appointment on Friday. Tomorrow is my anniversary with Juan, so that's why I'm kind of calling it a couple days short, just because I'd like to be able to enjoy tomorrow and not feel like, craving coffee or you know craving those fun activities and fun foods that we would normally have on a special day like that. Today was also difficult because I spent the whole day baking sweets for Christmas. I made lots of Jewish coffee cake which has cinnamon sugar like throughout. I made apple breads which have cinnamon and lots of sugar in there. I mean you know a significant amount you're making sweets and then we made cream cheese cookies so it's been a tough and tempting day, but other than like picking up a crumb and putting it in my mouth, I didn't have any one of these little sweets, even like the little mini muffins that I made for the apple bread. So I'm proud of myself, not gonna lie, I'll probably have some tomorrow <laughs> uh, if we can cut into them, if they're not like, you know, off limits for Christmas. But I figure since I made them, I should be able to enjoy something. But these will be recipes that I will be sharing with you guys in the future or have already shared with you. I really don't know how I'm laying this, all these videos out. I'm making so many. But yeah, today was tempting and a struggle. But being able to look forward to the future and being able to enjoy them makes it a little bit easier. But for dinner tonight, I think we're just having some type of like shredded chicken and mayo, probably on some lettuce. And you guys will be seeing what else I had on the screen right now. I'd like to thank you so much for joining me this week and showing your support and praying for me for hopefully these symptoms to go away. I know that you don't know them yet, but I figured let's again wait for the doctor to diagnose me and help me before I give away all of the info. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button, and I will catch you guys in the next one.
it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, my name is Emily from Lima Bean Living. Welcome, we are so happy to have you. We post videos every Monday and Friday on a variety of content, lifestyle, cooking, cleaning, military life, DIYs, encouraging mathematical development in children, and so much more. Thank you so much again for watching and until next time.